From being in the ICU years ago to now working on the front lines of the pandemic, South Florida nurse is sharing her inspiring story with me. You want to hear it. Live, the news on NBC 6 at 4 starts now. Back in 2010, I was a patient in the intensive care myself. And now she's back in the ICU, but this time as a midst of the pandemic. I'm going to talk to her next. In addition to overseeing an ICU unit at Mercy Hospital and studying for her master's degree, Stephanie Aguirre is also finding time to give back by reaching out to local restaurants and small, small businesses to coordinate mask and meal donations to her colleagues. This do-it-all nurse, Stephanie Aguirre, is joining me now. Stephanie, how do you balance it all? It's, it's a little bit difficult, but I feel like um, when you want to get things done, you just push through, um, you know, work and school are very difficult to do, but I feel like there's always time to give back to the community. And that's why I feel it's very important, especially to give back to my team, because we're in such a difficult situation that when you get that extra help, it just makes everything that much easier. What inspired you to do something more than just be an ICU nurse, especially right now during these times? Back in 2010, I was a patient in the intensive care myself. Um, I actually got operated from a benign pituitary cyst and uh, being a patient, I felt the need to give back. So that's partially why I became an ICU nurse, but I also felt back the need to give back to the community. So I feel like it's I, I was meant for that and it's my calling. Stephanie, as cases rise in South Florida, what are you seeing inside the ICU and inside the hospital in general? So like you said, the rise, um, you see a lot of very sick patients. Um, unfortunately, they're there alone. So we are the helping hand, but on the other hand, you do see those that come in very sick and you have the opportunity to see them walk out of the ICU and get back to a normal life. I love to hear those stories. Those are the ones we want to hear about. What, it, what is your message to South Florida to stop the spread of this virus? So I know we hear it often, but the message is continue social distancing, wear your mask, wash your hands, and not just protect yourself, but protect others. Um, you don't always have to have symptoms to be to have corona. So um, you want to be careful and, and be aware that the spread is there, even though you may not feel it. So wear your mask, wash your hands, and just you know stay your six feet away. It's so important to continue hearing from our local healthcare workers. Stephanie Aguirre, thank you so much for everything you're doing and for spending a little time with us today. It's a pleasure. Thank you, guys.